98 achievements, one save. This is Achievement Chaser. Hey guys, it's Alex here, and we're back with Achievement Chaser for episode uh, 24, I think it is now. We are now at the end of the season with Sal Gueros, uh, so we can review our third season in charge, uh, now into 2023 with Sal Gueros. So, after our um, game versus Sin, uh, Sintrese, Trense, we played three more games, we won all four. Uh, or four, all three. I just saw the four there. Um, we won four two against who was it? It was against Maria De Fonte. Uh, I don't think I've got these prepared yet, even. So we'll have to we'll have to generate the match report for it. Um, but these games, I sort of wasn't really paying attention. We were sort of just getting through it, doing other things, and it was just sort of a good. It was the team sort of relaxing and playing comfortable football. So a lot of the times we'd go up by a few goals but then towards the second half everyone would sort of switch off and we'd uh, concede a few more um, okay we're just in a black screen now um, maybe if I switch to director no this is what happens when you do not prepare beforehand can we try that again no that's just that will do the same thing let's go to Maritimo B let's see if we can watch this game so this game was our second 4-2. We actually scored in the first minute of this game. We went 3-0 uh, up very early on in this game. Um, here we go. Let's see if this works now. No. Oh, there we go. Yes, Enrique on the ball. Gets past his man. Uh, it actually gets tackled, but it falls back to Watmore, and he just heads it in for Zagomez to score, and that's 1-0 within the first minute. Um, and then seventh minute in, uh, not much later, six minutes later, Miguel Luis puts a corner... Uh, Free kick in, and Ibrahima is there to put it in the back of the net. Uh, Zagomez gets his second of the game and our third in the 20th minute and to sort of kill the game quick, uh, which I thought killed the game. Uh, Miguel Luis intercepting Berner, playing Zagomez through, uh, and him putting it in the bottom corner here. So we were up 3 0 at this point. Um, and I think uh, we went into half time 3 uh, 0 up. Then, right after the break, we conceded a penalty. And then we then conceded another goal to Moreira to make it 3 2 in the 70th minute. I got a bit worried. I went, How are we letting them back into this so easily? Completely beating all our players. Great solo goal by him, but poor defending and poor goalkeeping, really. Uh, but Zagomez wasn't having any of it and gets his hat trick to put, give us a two goal uh, lead again. Furlan on the wing. Uh, puts a cross in, falls to Burner, blocks, but Zagomez is there for his hat trick there. Uh, so that's pretty good. Now let's go back to the Mario De Fonte game. Can we? Will it? Okay, so this was the fir actual first game. Zagomez as well gets the goal here. Enrique on the ball, plays into Zagomez, takes it around his defender, and puts it in the back of the net for 1 0. Then we go 2 0 up uh, through Burner in the 15th minute. Enrique on the wing here, got running down, puts the cr uh, pulls it back to Miguel Luis, fits it to Burner, who somehow gets that away. The goalkeeper maybe should have done better there, but great stuff by Burner. 2 0 up. Uh, we did concede to Felipe here uh, for 2 1. Casana heads it on, both our defenders miss it. Avora parries it straight to Felipe who makes it 2-1. We then uh, make it 3-1 just on the stroke of half-time, and Miguel Luis free kick doing his best burner impression. Uh, he's actually kicked burner off of free kicks because he just is so good at them. Uh, but they actually got one back straight away through Felipe again. Uh, a free kick falling to them here. Enrique, their own Enrique on the ball, actually, and Felipe headers it. And what is what is Avora doing there? We need a new goalkeeper. Definitely for League Two, um, and then Zagomez steps up again. Miguel Luis on another free kick, parries it. Terrible by their goalkeeper to fair, and Zagomez is on hand to put it in the back of the net. So those are the two four-two games, and then our final game of the season. Uh, we won this one two-one. Uh, not as good as the other games, but Miguel Luis with uh, a goal for us in the 28th minute to put us up one nil. Uh, Zagomez actually had a quiet game today. Um, which is a rarity in the second half of the season. Afonso on the ball. I uh, haven't actually heard much of him. He's been a bit injured and uh, suspensions. But real big deflection there from the Watmore cross. Well, off the Miguel Sh Luis shot there. Somehow credited to him. I would have given it an own goal. But there we go. They actually got level, though, uh, through Rodriguez here. Antonio 
bring it down the wing, plays it in, no marking on Rodriguez, and he puts it in the back of the net. It's going to be a lot harder next year, I feel, in the second league with this sort of defending. Uh, but Afonso, uh, of all people, puts us back up 2-1, and our last goal of the season comes from him, and it is a great one. Ibrahima puts him in, and he hits it off the post uh, and into the net at the front post there. Just a complete uh, strike there, and we win our final game 2-1. So in the league, we finished on 113 points, which I think is a record. Um, who do we have records for? Player records? No, most most team goals. I'm, I'm probably seeing it. Most times one. Most points. Yeah, there we go. Most points in a season. Salgueros, 113. Most wins in a season, 36 by us. Um, um, fewest league draws, I guess, five. That's interesting. Um most games without losing, most games without winning. Salgueros, we have that one there. And most games, matches one in a row of 11. Obviously, they restart the league records, I think, from the previous season. So we got the most goals as well, uh, which is pretty good. But uh, Oliverense come up with us uh, on 97 points. Um, but yeah, I'll just I'll show you. We've got our season summary actually here. Um, here we go. View season review. There we go. So the new fancy one. So the new arrivals, I guess we're going to go on to. So we had Luis Silva in from Belenenses, our centre-back, very good. 35 appearances, two goals, 7.4 average rating. Fantastic, to be fair, from him. Um, Miguel Luis, another fantastic player from Vittorio Guimaraes, 38 appearances, six goals, 16 assists. Most of them are from free kicks, but fantastic uh, from him. Antonio Correa played uh, quite, not many games, but still did pretty well. Bacolda as well, sort of back up. Zagomez, what a, what a signing. On a free from Benfica B, 28 appearances, 20 goals and 6 assists. Nearly a goal or assist every game uh, for him. Also, obviously, Gustavo Enrique, he's our star, I think a signing of the season. 39 games, 16 goals, 13 assists. Nandino, pretty good back up left back, too, not too bad. And then we had a few signings for uh, Sagueros B. Tim Hall sort of came in but didn't really play much. Goncalo Agrelos was more of a backup but still contributed. Avora had to play when he had to. Uh, Vieira actually played a lot more than he should have. Uh, it's 6.54, so not the best. And then a few more B team signings. Obviously, transfers out. Um, Acosta did well, I guess. Um, so did Tarashaj. But to get how much we got for him, pretty good. Um, but yeah, so that's that's it mostly, though. It was some very good signings. And we might try and get these two back on loan next year. Um, we'll see. But here's the season results. So I guess we... Jubilant success. Um, A plus from the, the gig. We had Zacomez came in halfway and scored 20. Average home attendance of 1,600. Uh, we were expected to finish top half by the board. But fantastic results there. Um, and then the Portuguese Cup reached the fourth round. We didn't get there, but to be fair, we were knocked out by Pacos Ferreira. And that was a really unfortunate game in the end. Uh, moments to remember. Our biggest win against Intrense, um 5-1. Not, not too bad a match to remember against AC Vicio. Okay, I guess so. And the goal of the season was uh, Watmore's uh, goal against Alverca. Finance-wise, we're terrible. We are in a lot of pro problem, but we need some money. Um, who had the most shirt sales on Enrique? At number six, playing left wing. Very odd. Some crazy shirts. We only had 358 shirts sold, but we'll have to see. How we lined up. Yeah, the 4-2-3-1. This was our most, yeah, Tramal, not uh, not there anymore because they got called back. But this is our best 11. Afonso, Luis Silva, Sangare, Furlan, Miguel Luis and Kamara. Enrique, Berna, Tiago, and Zagomez. So not too bad. The accolades. Do we win anything? So manager, I think the problem is we do this. I think, um, and no one actually like. It's too early to do it. So pl fans player of the season though was uh, Luis Silva. Young player also who's Luis Silva. Sign of the season Enrique. Goal of the season was what more. Top goal scorer was Gomez. Top assister was Miguel Luis. Most player in the match was Afonso with seven. Highest average rating was Luis Silva. Our records were broken. Uh, most league goals and overall goals was Gomez with 20. Most goals in a match, Enrique. Uh, most goals by a player in a, a league match was Enrique. Most clean sheets, Tramal got 17. Hopefully we can get him back for next year, but we'll have to see. 
Most played in the matches in the season was seven. Most discipline was also Lee Silver with 21 yellows and one red. And the highest transfer C received was 90k for Mosquera. That's pretty good. There we go. History in the making. Salgueros dared to dream. And thanks to a great run back at the start of the season, their promotion dreams came true. Fair enough. Um, is there anything else we need to look at? Club Vision. This is our new updated Club Vision. Basically, they want us to avoid relegation next year and repair the club's financial damage. They did add a few new ones in. Sort of play attacking football and all that. We are in the Portuguese League Cup, I guess, as well now. We're in the uh, second division. But... We'll have to see. Um, I guess I will come back for the team awards, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we're back. Um, what I didn't actually uh, realise is that in the third division, there are no awards for the season. So if you look, there's the overview, matches, news, stats, transfers, and history. If you go down, there's a little awards one. But then there's none here. And then you go to the second league and there's awards again. And you go to the top league and there's awards again. So for some reason, the third division doesn't have any team awards. So that's annoying because we've missed out on possible awards there, such as Miguel Luiz or Luis Silva getting an average rating or a player of the season or a young player of the season. So that's a bit of a waste. Um, but yeah, I think uh, that's it for the season. I'm starting to make transfers the new season. We're trying to get loans in. That's going to be the key thing, I think, I think is the loans. Um, but here's a little commercial submarine again. 413 shirts actually sold. We've got a new scouting budget. But yeah, I think that's going to be it really. No achievements. Really annoying that we didn't get an achievement there. We could have got one if those team awards came out. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back for the start of season four. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been Alex, and I'll see you guys next time.